Hi everyone, today we are here at NSK to find out how effective their handpiece anti suckback system against contamination is compared to other brands. A suckback phenomenon is when foreign substances are drawn into the head of the turbine for a very short time after you release the foot pedal. This may happen after the air supply is ceased, causing the inside air pressure to become lower than the outside air pressure. And at the same time, the rotor is still rotating inertially before coming to a complete stop. The internet offers countless information on handpiece suckback, comparing different brands and the most commonly used test method you'll find is this one, which is done under sealed condition. But is this method reliable? This is the common suckback testing method, and as you can see, the handpiece is sealed in a flask or a tube while doing the test. This method does not portray the normal clinical environment and may not be as relevant since during a normal treatment procedure, there are no circumstances where the turbine is operated in such sealed state. NSK conducted a test experiment based on the actual condition in which the hand pieces are operated in an unsealed environment, where the head physically touches the extraneous substances. The process of the test is as shown on the screen. The red liquid solution is used to represent external substances the handpiece may be exposed to, and these key points are observed. The visible presence of the red liquid residue inside the exhaust line and rotor, and the weight differences before and after the operation checking how much liquid remain in the handpiece. The exhaust line is then examined for liquid solution traces, then the exterior of the handpiece is wiped clean of excess liquid and is weighed again. The head is also dismantled to inspect the presence of the solution residue on the rotor. And these are the result comparison on the different handpiece brands used for this test. Columns highlighted in red are positive of the liquid residue, whereas the ones highlighted in blue don't have visible traces of the solution. Except for NSK Z900L and M900L and brand K1, traces of red liquid residue were found in both the rotor and the exhaust line of all other brands. NSK air turbine handpieces also show the least amount of residue inside the handpiece based on the weight result. And this is because of NSK's dual defense for infection control, the clean head system, and the anti-retraction valve. Let me show you how it works. The clean head system is a built-in structure located on the tip of the handpiece head, which reduces cross-contamination and suck back. It has a labyrinth mechanism that prevents contaminants from entering the head and a unique disc design which discharges contaminants by centrifugal force. Working together with the clean head system is the anti-retraction valve which prevents backflow of external objects into the waterline of the handpiece and tubing of the dental chair, minimizing the risk of contamination. The cleanet system is standard for all NSK handpiece and the anti-retraction valve is standard for all NSK couplers. NSK has almost 30 years of history for infection control and is proven by a number of esteemed universities. For more detailed information, please visit our website on the link below.